What is good guys, more World Cup action, we got Eternal Spirit vs Saki Mewtwo. I think Saki Mewtwo is on US West, Eternal is on Brazil. Brazil is not doing too well at the moment. And Saki Mewtwo brings rain with a Magirna. So yeah, he does have to weather Abuser, so that's probably gonna be a damp rock Pelipper. You see Specs Pelipper sometimes when there's only one or no weather Abusers. And he does switch out scouting for what? I'm not really sure what he predicted there. Why did he go into the Tapu Fini? Eternal brings a Mega Aerodactyl team. Eternal's team is looking really cool and unique. There's Tapu Fini to check Ash Greninja. I assume it's gonna be um Choice Garf Greninja or Choice Garf Aerodactyl. I, I was thinking Mega Aerodactyl first, but like either it's either Choice Garf. Arrow or choice Gav Grand to check Volcarona. Because I don't think Cartana gets a good move to hit Volcarona, so I assume that Cartana is going to be Z move. But he does go for Nature's Madness as Ferrothorn goes for a knockoff. So Psychic Mewtwo probably predicting um, some sort of switch because he didn't go for Power Whip. But knockoff would have led in the Z move Cartana for free anyway, pretty much. He wasn't a Coco on a Taunt. He totally predicted him to go for Hazards there. Or for lead seed. And yeah, he's probably just gonna U turn again. Because Eternal kinda needs this um, type of Fini healthy to check the King Draw. Getting rid of the leftovers is really nice for Psychic Mewtwo. I mean, Power Whip damage would have been nice too, but getting rid of leftovers is just fine overall because Power Whip could have missed and he would have switched that into something and at least he would have gotten information if he switched that into Cartana. He would have either gotten rid of the item or seen if it was the move. So I can understand knocking off there. Yeah, I'd like I would definitely go for U-turn here. The thing is, Eternal like Eternal knows that he needs this type of Fini. Like he could expect Psychic Mew to, to go for the U-turn and he would then go for Nature's Madness, but he just goes into Landers predicting either the T-Bolt or the U-turn as he goes for HP eyes. Oh my god. So if I was Eternal Spirit, I think I would have gone into Curum there, or... Yeah, I think I would have gone into Curum Black, because Dazzling Beam is not that common in Coco. But it was a really nice prediction, and he did Oko. He did Oko the Landris, which means the Landris was either offensive or his Coco is Specs. I do want to call how much offensive type of Coco HPIs does to... Uh it's like two offensive landers, basically what I'm just trying to say here. He brings in the Curum Black, so he goes off this. The other moves being a uh, T-Bolt and Taunt. Um, yeah, I think T-Bolt and Taunt would be the last two moves. Uh, it could also be Nature's Madness, but I don't think it would be Nature's Madness. So he's probably just gonna go for Ice Beam or Earth Power here with the Curum. Uh, you can also click sub zero Slammer, obviously. If you have sub zero Slammer, I would just click that. Because it destroys something, and Psychic Mewtwo probably has to sec the Ferrothorn here to the sub zero Slammer. Because, like, what else is a switch in? Like, and Ferrothorn is the only thing that took damage so far, so it makes more sense to sec Ferrothorn than let something else take a huge hit. But yeah, I do want to run this card real quick. HPS doesn't kill offensive Landris, so he has to be uh, either choice back or expert build. But I assume it's, oh, he has Thunder. Yeah, Thunder and Rain, obviously. He goes for Fusion Bolt there, predicting the Pelipper potentially. I don't know why he didn't just click Sub Zero Slammer if he has it. That was weird though. Like, I just want to know if this Coco is expert build. I'm still confused how he could have Oko. Yeah, expert build has a good chance to Oko Landris. So I assume that's his item at the moment, I just, I don't see what else he could be. I mean, there's definitely another option, but that's, that's the first thing that comes to mind, Expert Belt. As he tries to bring in the Pelipper on a off power, tries to make a Lord Prediction, gets it in on an Ice Beam at least. Um, again, if... Last turn, I don't know why he didn't click sub Slammer if he had it. But I guess he could be, yeah, yeah, he could, oh my god, that kills the crit sucks. That crit definitely mattered. Last time it did 48. And yeah, now that this electric rain ended. 
like I, I mean I was saying this could be sub zero for them and he should have gone for it but earlier I said he's probably using with Cartana so <laughs> The thing is, he didn't show live up on this. So what would the what would the item be on the cure room if it's not Z move? Like it's a bit weird to me. But yeah, psychic Muto can go to his Kingra. And I was I want to know if Hydro Pump kills from fifty five. Uh, Kingdra choice bags versus Kyurem. Hydropump does uh, in rain does a uh, 55 min. So yeah, I would just go Kingdra and click Hydropump because why not? It we you weaken the Tabu Fini. I mean you ha yeah you have to hit it's 80 percent, but I think it's your best play pretty much. And it kills one. It's kills guaranteed unless he's like oh unless this Kyurem in the cock that I have that I'm running here is minus to the death. But even then. It should still be a roll in Psychic Mutus' favor. Eternal Spirit is gonna get, um, I think, overwhelmed by overwhelmed by Swampert late game. Like Kingdra is gonna weaken his team, and Swampert is just gonna run through at the end. If he's a um, Scarf Greninja, that could potentially outspeed Swampert. I don't know if Scarf Katana would outspeed Swamp, but probably not. Scarf Katana has only 1909 speed, I don't think it would be able to outspeed it. Uh, I'm going after Swamp, but being jolly, obviously. I know that some people run um, Scarf Gram with the grass, not for Swamp, but it's, <laughs> it's a wild set. I mean, Katana has a decent check for Swamp, but, but it cannot switch in multiple times. But yeah, like I said, he's just clicking Hydro Pump here. He does click Surf, so he was willing to risk a potential roll there. I'm not sure if I would have made that play. Oh, wait, Surf doesn't even kill, what? Surf does 45 to 53. So he was either really confident that uh, Eternal Spirit was switching out and he wanted guaranteed damage on a Tapu Fini, or he just was willing to let his Kingdra take damage, I don't know. I think he was confident that Eternal wouldn't stay in there. But I would have clicked Hyrule Pump there, like... Like, you can call me bad because, uh, like, I rely on Hyrule Pump, but I would have gone for Hyrule Pump. And he has a Z move, so I don't know why he didn't click that move earlier. That's weird. I mean, I know that you want to save it, but, like, earlier there was just one point where you came in on the Coco where you guaranteed got a kill. In my, in my opinion, yeah. I mean, there will be some reason you wanted to save it for later. Swampert might have Stone Edge, um, but Earthquake should, could also kill. I want to call it real quick. Yeah, Earthquake probably kills. I guess a Mega Swampert. Earthquake does 50 to 60, so it's a roll. And let's just cure him. Has a different nature than the Kalk. Like, what does Naughty Nature do, by the way? Naughty Nature is. Minus Spadev. Okay, so the cure that I was calling was minus Spadev. Which means it's not minus defense, which means um, this is the correct calc. He has a neutral defense nature then, if he's that nature. Like I know most cure Mondays nature. I just wanted to figure out if it's minus defense or minus Spadev. So this is a 50 50 roll. So if he has superpower or stone edge, he's gonna go for that. Because I would not rely on the 50 50 roll. Like Stonage has a higher percent chance, like it's 80% chance you have to hit it. Like 80% chance accuracy is what I'm trying to say. Mm. What would you do here if you eternal spirit? I'll probably go hard into Cartana if that can take two hits. Cause you wanna save the QM, right? Oh my god, Cartana takes 61 from Earthquake. I thought it could eat it up better because it has 131 defense, but the, the bad HP stat from Cartana really bites it. Yeah, this is a tough turn for Eternal. There's, um, the Damp Rock is coming through, there's still 3 turns of rain. You kinda have to sack something, depending on the Swampert set, but you would not bring the Swampert out unless you have something to kill the Kyurem, right? Like, I don't think 
relying on the earthquake rollers to play. I mean, if he's Adamant Swampert, oh, this is Adamant Swampert that I calked. My bad, guys. So if he's Jolly Swampert, this does this does even Jolly Swampert does even less. I was calking Adamant. I was surprised why Earthquake did so much to um. So yeah, wow, he really went for Earthquake. That that wouldn't have killed unless he got Max Roll and he's Adamant. So he did pivot. Really nice plays from Eternal Spirit. He kind of had to make risky prediction there and he got it correct because he was in the back. Pivoting from Aerodactyl into Cartana. So I want to use this information that we get here to figure out if the Swampert was Jolly or Adamant as Waterfall should do 30, so we do 39. If it's Jolly and if it's Adamant. Okay, we still don't know if it's Jolly or Adamant. I mean, I could still see this being Jolly and he just wanted to get... He just wanted to get safe damage on Ecurum to bring in range from Surf. I can understand that. But if he didn't have a move to kill the Ecurum, I still would have gone probably into Kingdra as Scarf Cartana outspeeds the Swampert. So I assume it's Adamant Swampert. Wow. Yeah, it's Adamant Pert. That's the o that's the only reason why he went for Earthquake because it is a I think it's a potential like it's a potential role to kill the Ecurum basically. So he is Scarf Cartana. I mean, yeah, after he showed Z move Kyurem, this was an option. So, his way of dealing with Volcarona is as he goes for plus one, that did so much. He gets a crit, that's why I did so much. All the pummeling is gonna kill the Cartana, but this is gonna be a close game at first. I saw the tunnel is gonna get blown away after that, after he lost his Landers to the HP eyes, but now he's coming back. Wow. So, like, his way of checking um, Volcarona is basically. I assume he has Roost on his Aerodactyl. Maybe he has some HP investment. I don't think it's the best way to check Volcarona. Mm. I also think he might. He's probably uh, Water Shuriken on Greninja. I assume it's gonna be Ash. Just the way his team is made up. Like if he's Scarf Katana, that makes him like so much more weak to Volcarona. Like Fire Z move just kills this. Fini is not a Volcarona count. That Quiver dances and then it Giga drains it. And Aerodactyl always has to be healthy to check Volcarona. Like I can show you guys a Kulk. I mean, he's probably gonna send out his. Oh, okay, you already met the Kyurem play. I was uh, saying either good ninja or the... Actually, he basically could have. Like, if he has Earthquake, he could have gone into Aerodactyl too. So, the psychic mute to go into Pelipper, he breaking the Earth power is the question. I think Eternal Spirit is just gonna click Earth power because he cannot really play around with a plus one special attack Magina. The thing is, what is this Magina even doing for psychic mute to? Like, does this still have any value for you? Is what, is what I'm wondering. Um, I mean, it has value in the sense that if that's um, Specs Greninja, Specs Battle Bond Greninja, this could um, check the dark. It could stop the dark put spam. Like I don't know. I probably can't switch in, but but yeah, I wanted to show you guys Volcarona versus Aerodactyl just to see how weak he is to it. So Stone Age obviously kills and Giga Drain at plus one. Let's say Giga Drain at plus one after rocks. That only does 54, 51. And let's say with HP Ice Volcarona, how much would that do? At plus one it does um, 69 to 78 to 82. So after rocks it has a chance to kill which makes Volcarona actually a really huge threat to his team. I mean, yeah, that, I'm just trying to explain. Like, that, the reason... Like, the reason why I think he is um, Ash Greninja is because... Like, Water Shuriken and Specs makes a lot of sense because that can potentially help you with Volcarona because Aerodactyl is not the best check after Roxy, so it can die to plus one HP Ice. Or um, it can also die to plus one Inferno Overdrive at plus one as... Inferno Overdrive would um, do, yeah, would kill after rocks. So, the next thing I'm gonna call is Magiona with Greninja to see if it's um, worth it to keep this like, around as he goes in the Pelipper. I kind of think that was the, oh my God, Eternal the God. I kind of think he had to switch out because Dark Pulse spam would completely blow him away. I mean, he gets the rain back up, but this is not enough. Eternal Spirit. Um, 
probably wins this now. I like how he came back in this game. Because his team is just so cool. Like, look how it looks. Like, he has Pokemon that you don't see that often. Cartana and Aerodactyl. Tempofino you also don't see that often, but it's nothing like super crazy. But those two monsters, like, what makes his team cool is Flip. And yeah. I think you can just um, sack his Kyurem here because of the King Yard's specs, which I'm going off because I think there's a specs because the Surf did a good chunk earlier to Tapu Fini. So he has to lock himself into Drago to kill this. And switching out goes for Dragon Pulse, as well. I mean, this is fine. It's not like he needs the Aerodactyl. This makes me think he doesn't have Earthquake on Aerodactyl. Because Kyurem can kill Majorna with... Kyurem can basically kill Majorna with Earth Power. And the only reason you would want to sack Aerodactyl is because it can't kill Majorna, right? Because Majorna could potentially shift you up on that. But even then he can't win if he's um, Ash Greninja that would still kill the Majorna anyway with Water Shuriken, especially in the rain. But yeah, you can go on the top of Fiend and click Moonblast here. You can No, he can go on the top of Fiend and if he... If he doesn't want to let the Majorna come in, he can. I can even see him double switching. It might not be necessary, but I could see him doing it. Because I know his Donald Spirit is a really aggressive player. Mm. So let's say he goes into Type of Fini here. Is it a choke if he doubles out into Greninja or Kyurem Break in the Majorna? Then that is my question at this point, basically. Is it a choke? Sack Coco when it won, is what the Budouche said. I mean, yeah, he did get crit, but. Exactly, Coco at 5% was not winning. So he goes in the top of Fini and. I mean, if Moonblast doesn't all call, which it probably doesn't, because Type of Fini is not that strong. I could see him going for like a different move, like if he has. Okay, does 70 to 73. He goes for Taunt, which is smart as it prevents. It prevents the Majorna from going for Shift Gear. And it's also that was like, that was an amazing play on Eternal Spirit's part, because he knows the Kingdom is locked in. And if he doubled out, he would have he would have potentially risked the, the Kingdra staying in. But by taunting, you know that you are fine because the Kingdra is not in the Dragon Bolts. And if he switches out into Majorna, he can set up. And now we just click Earth Power or Fusion Bolt. Yeah, okay. Fusion Bolt probably does more damage because this this set likes to run Max Attack. So the Free Shock, Ice Beam, and then uh, Fusion Bolt. And so um, did he show Earth Power? He didn't. So the last move might be a uh, Roost. He might not be Earth Power. But yeah, he could also be Earth Power and have four attacks. So that was that was a really nice play. And now he goes into Greninja and clicks Dark Bolt and wins the game. Yeah, if he's Ash Greninja, specs. Because a Surf Kingdra in the rain, I don't think it can kill Ash Greninja. Um, oh, you chose specs versus Greninja in the rain. Surf can only kill with a crit. So you would still, yeah, so he's still open to lose to a crit here. If Kingra crits here, Psychic Mewtwo can still win this. But Eternal should have it. Yeah, I like this game. He goes for Dark Pulse, I assume. Yup, and he has Ash Gunja. And it doesn't kill. But the rain ends. The rain ends. Wow, it actually didn't kill. What the fuck? Is he not Specs? He did. What? It said you ninja or you ash choice specs and then change the special attack to 103 because it's not an ash form yet. Um, specs, the yeah, specs would have killed, so he's gonna go for water shuriken and it does guarantee the kill. Okay, so I could see this either being um, maybe like the move that boosts water moves. So he's just gonna water shuriken here. You don't risk, you don't ever risk missing hydro pump in that scenario, and he does pick up the win. So I assume this was either a, a taunt ninja with like the item that boosts water move what I just said 
Um, I forgot the name. Because I think there's multiple items that boost water moves. But the Eternal Spirit is, I think, one and one now. He, lo he lost versus League, I think, last weekend, if I recall correctly. And Psychic Mewtwo did win versus Isle of League. So this is a really interesting because in this specific group it's 1 1 1 1 1. Psychic Mewtwo lost versus Eternal, but won versus League. League won versus Eternal, but lost versus Psychic Mewtwo. Eternal. Lost versus League, but one versus Psychic Mewtwo. So, wow, really interesting. And yeah. Like, he did already had a Z move on Kyurem, so I don't think he's Z move Ashkaran. I see that set sometimes. Like Hydro Vortex. I mean, I don't know how good that set is. I know they use it in Hida for Hida, but I think it's more like a fun set. So like the other option is Axel Belt, but I really think it's like Misty Pl uh, Misty Water or however the item is called that boosts water moves. And yeah. Cool played by Eternal Spirit. Um I don't think the crit on the on the Coco mattered. And yeah, I think Prosperon is playing later too. This was another game that I didn't expect to happen. Like I was actually not ready, like I was working, was ready like to work on a something for ABR versus faults and then I just saw this game popped up, but thankfully I always check smokers every few minutes and I did catch it live from the beginning and thank you guys for watching, Dokuch signing out, hope you guys all enjoy the World Cup coverage, goodbye.